I can remember when I first walked into a church, I had an powerful encounter with God's Spirit. And I can remember sitting in church and uh, they was doing this kind of song, uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Um, the righteous run into it and they are saved. Apart from the fact they were doing these kind of crazy hand signals, uh, a tower, and they were doing this kind of running into it. And uh, when they said, oh, we are saved, they were going, ooh, and they were making all these noises. What really struck me is that at the time, I knew that God was real. Um, but I suddenly was aware of how bad I was. And when they were saying the righteous run into it and they are saved, um, I really felt kind of condemned, I suppose. I thought, well, that really isn't me. I, I don't feel very righteous. I'm a bit of a scumbag, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, it took a while for me to understand it's by grace you're saved through faith. It's a gift of God, not by works anyone has bo uh, can boast. And I realized that actually I was saved. I was righteous. Uh, righteousness basically means you've got a right standing with God and uh, it came to me that actually because of God's spirit because of Jesus dying on the cross I was righteous um, the incredible thing is is um, uh, I, I met Jesus Christ by the power of his Holy Spirit my question to you is if there is such a thing as heaven if if all that I believe and God is real is real and there's a heaven and there's a hell uh, are you a good person are you going to heaven Taking the authority of Jesus, Jesus said, you know what, he said, uh, uh, someone came to him and said, good master, uh, uh, what uh, must I do? He said, why are you calling me good? There's no good but God. Even though he also says um, there'd be a time that all those who are in the graves shall hear my voice and come forth. Those that have done good to resurrection of life and those that have done evil to damnation. Even though Jesus said that, he also made a statement that there's none good except for God. So before God... We've all fallen short of God's standards. All of us are sinners. And my question really is, if you think you're good, before a holy God, you know what? You've made mistakes. None of us are perfect. And we live in a crazy time, a crazy moment, uh, where we don't know if we're going to get through the week. We don't know if we're going to have a job next uh, next month. We can't work out how we're going to pay our rent. We're amongst this virus that's attacking the UK, attacking the world. Uh, the strangest time I've ever experienced in my life. And uh, I can't make plans of five years or ten years or next year. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next year. I don't I don't even know if I'm going to be alive. How can you have any guarantee you will be alive? The Bible tells me that um, it's appointed once for man to die and then face judgment. And the uncertainty of life at the moment just makes me realize that we don't know. Even today, I've heard of three people, good friends, that have passed away in the last 24 hours through this virus. It's shocking times we're living in. We don't know when we're going to face our maker. I want to put it to you. If you, were to, if you were to meet Jesus, do you know him? Are you aware that actually you're not good and you need your sins uh, forgiven? I want to put it to you. Do you know what? Actually, uh, it's a time to get right. The Bible says, what does it prosper a man if he gains the whole world and loses his salvation? You need Jesus Christ. If you don't know him, it's my plea to you, my appeal to you. Uh, if you're watching this video on Tough Talk for any of the links, it's my appeal to you that right now you can get right with God. You don't know what will happen around the corner. You don't know the uncertainty of life, but that's a fact. And I want to say to you, if you want to know Jesus, it's very simple. I want you to if you want to know Jesus, it's very simple. It's very simple because he, he's calling to you. It's a prayer away. It's a decision away. It's a heartbeat away. You can be transformed in a twinkling of the eye. Now, pray this prayer with me. Make this commitment. Uh, realize and recognize before our holy God, before this incredible one who created all this beauty around me right now, before the God of creation, he knows the very the hairs on your head. He knows your very thoughts. He knows your very hour. He knows your heartbeat. Pray this prayer and say, God, forgive me, come into my heart, let me, let me become born again. Pray this and in the end we'll say the Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you sent your son Jesus, who died upon the cross and rose again. Forgive us of the mess we make of our lives. Come into our hearts by the power of your spirit. Fill me with your love and your goodness and your mercy and your grace. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you've prayed that prayer, contact us, make a comment on the bottom. We would love to send you a Bible or a book. Make some notes, let us know. Uh, please uh, get to a local church somehow, contact someone. But contact us. Uh, God bless you and uh, uh, I wish you well.